Marta, just can you talk a little bit about finally getting to Tennessee, how the wait for you, how how hard that was over the summer, and what what do you see your role as a player for Tennessee this season as? Hi, how are you? Um, first of all, my uh, few, the few months I've been here in Tennessee has been way better than I could ever imagine. I've been uh, basketball-wise and studies and my teammates has been, they have been great. So it's been a really good three months. And about my role in the team, I am uh, really excited about the season. Of course, as a freshman, I don't expect to be, to have such a big role in the team right away. I, my biggest thing right now is to be a plus as much as I can, never a minus. And not, not just on the court, but off the court. I think on the court, I can just my size and abilities as a, um, as a player to help the team. But I think off the court, I have a big uh, part to a big role in the way of trying to keep the team positive and, and competing and, and giving our best. One, right, we'll one, one quick ahead, Maria. follow-up. You it took you, you had to wait to get here and then you had to go straight to a hotel room for quarantine. How hard was it that you're new in this country, your first time to the United States, and all of a sudden you also have to sit alone in a hotel room while you wait to be able to even meet your teammates? Yeah. Um, well, it was, we, it got to a point that we thought that I wasn't even going to be able to be here until December. So it was great news when I, uh, when they told me I could be able to come here in August. But yeah, once I got here, the first two weeks, I was stuck in, in a whole room, which I'm a really active person, so it was a little bit difficult, but I still could be able to do Zoom calls with the team. I started to get to know all of them, because like since the time difference wasn't that big, uh, staying here, of course, um, I had more time to get to know them. So some, somehow it kind of helped me to get in before actually getting in to get to know all of them. And then uh, right after um, going out, it, it's true that it was a little bit difficult to first adjust to the schedule because it's obviously the time, it's different in Spain. Like we have different times to eat, uh, different sleeping times, it gets the culture, I think. But um, thanks to, of course, my roommates and the coaches were always there to, to make sure that I was doing good, that I was eating, that I was sleeping right. So everything was easier, kind of that way. All right, we'll take a question from Gustavo. Buenas tardes, Marta. Uh, what do you see the difference between playing in European basketball level versus playing in the SEC level? Have you been watching uh, SEC uh, women's basketball? You know, what do you expect to be the difference between uh, SEC basketball and European basketball in terms of, you know, the difference for you? Buenas tardes. Um, I think there's a lot of differences, but it's not as much as I thought. Uh, the game here focuses way more on the one-on-one -on -one players, while in Europe we focus most more on plays with screens, pick and rolls, etc. Uh, obviously, the bodies are different here. It's, there's way more contact here, I guess, um, than in Spain. Uh, in, in Europe, we our game tries to avoid contact more. But basically, at the end of the day, it's still basketball, and every team has its own different plays, its own different motion. So it's not that big of a difference, I guess. Um, it's the physical point of view that it's like the biggest difference between here and Europe. Additional questions for Marta? Maria? Marshall, when you finally got to meet the coaches, previously you had had to be recruited entirely by Zoom. How did that meeting go, and how have you have you gotten to know them now as people, and has that made the transition a little bit easier? Well, my recruiting process was a little bit inter interesting since I didn't get to visit or anything with any school. So, um, of course, first of all, I was looking for a school um, with good basketball and good studies. But um, when I commit to school, I commit for the four years. I'm not never planning on changing schools or anything. So uh, I realized that 
the most important thing for me. It's choosing the right people because I'm going to stay here for four years and those people are going to be my family. And since the first Zoom call I had with them, they gave me this um, family feeling, the, the team feeling that I thought it was right for me. And even though I, was, I had been talking to school for way longer, I thought Tennessee was the right fit. And um, until this day, I still believe that was the right choice. All right, Will Backus. Yeah, like Maria mentioned, you know, your whole recruiting process was over Zoom and pretty much everything you saw from campus was likely through pictures and Zoom, I guess. What, what were you able to learn while through that recruiting process and have anything surprised you since arriving in person? Um, during the recruiting process, um, obviously they showed me pictures of the facilities. They explained me more or less how a day in the life or a student athlete in Tennessee goes. Um, I talked to people from the academic uh, side of it. I talked to some teammates. Um, Jessie, the player from Australia, was uh, really helpful. She was, was there for me to answer any questions that I could have. And then when I got here, I mean, um, I knew they had told me that Tennessee was um, a big school, but the culture in Spain, like we don't, I didn't know um, that much about it. And when I got here, since I announced, announced my commitment, I think the fan base and the love people have for the University of Tennessee has been like the biggest um, discovery in a fall. Like I didn't, I could never have imagined that there was so many people supporting the program, uh, so many people supporting the team, supporting us and myself personally, even they haven't seen me play yet. There's people there supporting me every day through social media. And I think that's amazing. That's kind of a follow up. You're just the fourth international player at UT and all of four of those players have been here in just the past few years. I guess, what does it mean to kind of be at the forefront of that new trend of players from overseas coming to play here? It was a little bit scary at the beginning because obviously there's more programs uh, around the US that uh, have more of an international culture, but I guess it was uh, a challenge and I've never yet feel my, felt like I was like an international, like I was any different from any, from any teammates. Obviously, Jesse has done a great job helping me with everything I needed, but I've never had the feeling that I didn't belong here. I was like an international while the other ones were from here. So it hasn't been, at the beginning, it was a little bit scary. I have to admit that um, how are they going to see me as, but since I got here, that hasn't been any problem at all. Maria? Marta, Tennessee announced today that there would be about 4,000 fans at, allowed at a home game. That's a small crowd by Tennessee standards, a very small crowd, but you will have fans there. How, how excited are y'all that there will be people in the arena and how ready are you to put on that uniform and play your first game? I mean, just the fact that they, people consider 4,000 people as a small crowd, for me, it's crazy. Like, I've been playing for from five to 20 people of, of a crowd my whole life. So it, like, it's a, I think it's gonna be a crazy experience. I can't wait. Um, I don't think um, the crowd, like obviously it's a sad news that we don't have um, all the fans that we would love to have here. But if that's, I'm sorry. <clears throat> But um, if that's what we have to do to be able to keep playing and keep um, giving the fans the games, that's what we will be doing. I am really excited about it. I'm not scared about it. I don't think it's going to um, like pull me back. The fact of having so, much, so, much, so many fans there, I'm just excited to see them, to meet them, and for them to see me play. Any final questions for Marta? Okay, Marta, thank you for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good day.